Hello! Today, we go out to connect and configure the new CHC NAV i90 Pro receiver with the TCP GPS application by Applita. To do this, the first thing is to connect the device. We turn on the antenna and then run the TCP GPS application. Now, we are going to pair up the device with the tablet. To later configure the application to get differential corrections using the NTRIP protocol. To do this, we are going to search for the device through the Bluetooth connection. We select External Receiver Bluetooth. We look for the brand CHC NAV and finally we select the model which in this case is i90 Pro. We establish the connection. We look for the device. Connecting. Once you have connected and paired up the two devices, Bluetooth connected, Proceed to change the setting so that it will use the NTRIP protocol for differential correction. It is already connected. We proceed to set up the connection of the NTRIP protocol. Configure the mobile device. In this case, and we have several options, we can use the corrections via radio using the UHF band or use GPRS to receive the corrections. In this case, we are going to use GPRS. We are going to indicate the elevation mask to filter the satellites to be used and discard those that are below the angle with respect to the horizon. We are going to configure the data access point for our device from our mobile data operator. The APN, where we indicate the server, in this case Movistar, the APN, username and password. Finally, we configure the server that provides the corrections. In this case, it is the Andalusian Positioning Network in Spain. We indicate the IP address of the server, the specific port to obtain the network solution or the fixed point solution. In this case, it will be a network solution. We enter our username and password. Finally, we are going to select the mount point. It is recommended to use the RTCM format. We are going to select one of the last ones that appears in the list. By pressing the details button, we can review the characteristics of this mount point, like the RTCM3 format, the supported constellations, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Beidou, and other parameters as we can see. We accept and click on configure to validate the parameters. Now it is sending the configuration to establish the communication of the data server with the device. After that, we are going to proceed with the tilt calibration to correct the slope of the pole and not be aware of the bubble when we are measuring. Very useful when we are measuring points that cannot be plumb, such as low points of vertical signals, low points of facades, etc. To do this, we select tilt calibration. If it isn't yet connected, we click on activate tilt to start. In this case, I am making oscillatory movements with a margin of 30 degrees to get its calibration. Well, it already tells us that it is calibrated. And now, we can forget about the bubble and the plumbing of the pole with the consequent work saving. Once achieved, this configuration is stored and it is not necessary to repeat the process every time we go to work. Finally, we can check the status of our receiver to examine the status of the sky dome, active satellites, age, type of solution, coordinates. I hope you liked it. As you have seen, it is a fairly simple operation to configure and establish communication between the TCP GPS application and the CHC NAV i90 Pro receiver.